Over half the Earth is covered by the oceans, and down there, hidden beneath the crushing dark weight of tons of water, lies an unexplored world. A world up to now forbidden to man. A world about which scientists know less than our solar system. The world of the final frontier. The ocean depths. In the perpetual darkness of the ocean bed, thousands of unknown beings thrive, never seen by man. This is the dwelling place of the monsters that for centuries fed the legends and mythology, the home of the strangest, most fascinating creatures of the sea. The kingdom of a legendary animal which the Norwegian sailors called the Kraken, and which up to now, no one has ever managed to see alive. At the Coordination Center for the Study and Protection of Marine Species, a naturalist in love with the sea had spent many years studying the legendary marine monster. Since time immemorial, a giant squid had appeared along the shores of Asturias. For the local people, it was simply one of many creatures that the sea cast onto its beaches, and as there was no way of making use of them, no one paid any attention to them. But Luis Laria understood the importance of what was happening there. For a long time, the sailors in Luarca had spoken to me about these marine monsters, which for me were just a legend. They stopped being so precisely with the capture of this specimen, which measures 13 meters, and which was caught in the Karandi fishing ground, now considered to be one of the best or most important in the world in terms of the presence of giant squid. At first, Luis Laria thought it was simply a chance occurrence. But in time, he began to understand that there, just a short distance from the coast of Luarga, there was a stable population of giant squid, a unique treasure that the world ought to know about. The decision was taken to conserve it precisely in order to be able to show society real specimens today. And despite the fact that so many have appeared in Astorias, I did not understand how they could fail to be noticed by institutions, etc. And future generations would not be able to observe them up close as they can be observed here in the Luarca Marine Teaching Facility. Though unknown to the general public, this is the most important collection of giant squid in the world. Today, the Thepesma has 19, and every New Year examples are added to its collection. And the giant squid are not the only mysterious cephalopods of the ocean depths to be found in the museum. The ocean depths of Karandi are home not only to the giant squid, but also to other extraordinary specimens such as this one, a Tenenghiadane, which, though it is not as large as the Archituthis, has two peculiarities worthy of mention, precisely on the tentacles. One of them is that it has the two largest luminous organs existing in nature, called photophores, on the first and third arms, and also a multitude of hooks instead of the characteristic suckers. These mysterious squid have attracted the most eminent world specialists in cephalopods in search of the tracks of an animal that has eluded man since the origin of our species. Because though formidable in size, the giant squid remains a mystery for the scientific community and a marine monster for the immense majority. A monster whose legend began many centuries ago. From the very start of history, man has found in the sea a home for his demons and superstitions. Those who cross the oceans in fragile wooden ships live for months in the fear of a liquid world that was forbidden to them and which frequently killed entire crews. It is therefore understandable that many of the creatures that came to the surface of that shadowy universe were described by the first chroniclers as terrible beasts, hybrids between the reality and their feverish, terrified imaginations. Among these legendary beasts, there was one whose legend would grow in time. 
the Kraken. This was a fearsome monster with many arms which attacked the ships and dragged them down into the depths. An enormous octopus whose strength and malice for centuries terrified the sailors of Northern Europe. But behind the legend of the monstrous Kraken lay a species of squid which the Danish naturalist baptized with the name Architusis. A real squid, yes, but an animal which, with its over 20 meters in length and 1,000 kilos in weight, fully lived up to the reputation of the legendary Kraken. And nonetheless, an animal about which we still know almost nothing.